Now we are moving into the stretches. Our first stretch is called the single knee to chest. This stretch helps open up the hips and also places a stretch on the hamstring. Most of the research in the field suggests that we stretch for 30 seconds at a time. This gives the muscle adequate time not only to adjust to the stretch, but also to lengthen the muscle. We are trying to lengthen these overactive muscles. Uh, what we're focusing on here is the hamstrings. When the hamstrings get too tight, they can cause synergistic dominance of the glutes, which basically means that your hips will not be as strong because your hamstrings are so tight. This will cause a anterior pelvic tilt, leading to lower back pain. By adequately stretching the hamstrings, we can prevent this postural compensation and you can promote a healthier back. So again, this first stretch, single knee to chest, you bring your knee up, grab on your knee and pull towards you. As you can see, I am not flexible. Flexibility is one of my biggest weaknesses. So I definitely need to be keeping up with these stretches as well. You know, as a corrective exercise specialist, um, sometimes the hardest part of my job is to practice what I preach. But you have to stretch, keep your body in motion. Because, well, as I say, a body in motion stays in motion. Hmm. Well, I hope this helps. For the single knee to chest, you should feel it coming through the hamstrings. It'll help open up the glutes and prevent you from having any lower back pain.